Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. I have been looking forward to filming this video for as long as I had the idea. So a while back I asked you guys on Instagram to help me out with this video. I wanted to try out your favorite fall lipsticks. You guys know how much I love to involve you in my videos. And I think it was last year I created a video myself sharing my favorite fall lipsticks with you guys. So I'll have that video linked down below if you wanna hear some of my recommendations or favorites for fall. But I thought it'd be so fun for me to try out your favorites. So I had so many submissions. I went through every single one and it was so cool to see multiple people saying the same shade of the same formula in a lipstick. So I gathered all of the top lipsticks and we're gonna be trying them out today. We have high-end and drugstore. I'm so excited to try these out. Out, you guys some of them I did own a lot of them I did not own which is really fun so I'm excited to try everything so let's just get right into it I think what I'll do is I'll start with bullet lipsticks and then move into liquid lipsticks just because I'm gonna be trying all of them on so that'll just be the easiest on my lips so I'm gonna start off with this one I had never heard of this shade before and six people talked about it saying it's their favorite lipstick for fall so Abigail Randy Liz Addison Tony and Jessica all said that they love this one right here this is from Urban Decay. It's the Comfort Matte Lipstick in the shade 1993. It seems like such a gorgeous fall shade. So obviously I bought this one. I did not own this before. I had never heard of it. Here's what it looks like in the tube. It's a beautiful kind of grungy brown, almost like a 90s brown, obviously. It's called 1993. So let's go ahead and try this on. Oh yeah, so it's definitely that perfect grungy brown. However, I feel like it's still a nude in the sense that it's very easy to wear. It's not too much of a statement lip, but it is at the same time. Please excuse my lip lines throughout this video. Um, I'm gonna be trying on a lot of lipstick, so we're just gonna have to get the gist of it without a lip liner. That's really, really pretty. So again, this is 1993 by Urban Decay. The formula is called Comfort Matte. I can see what they mean by that. It doesn't dry down at all, and it really does feel nice and comfortable on the lips. So this is the first color I wanted to give you guys like enough time to see what it looks like in case you wanna like take notes and see if there's any of these that you wanna add to your own collection. I really do like that a lot. I would definitely pair it with a lip liner just to really make those edges nice and precise, but the color is beautiful. So let's move on to the next lipstick. Okay, so this next lipstick had probably 10 or more people say that this formula was really great. And there were all different shades in this formula that people really loved for fall. So I chose one where a couple people mentioned the same shade. So Sidra and Tammy mentioned the shade Wedding Day in this formula right here. It's the Power Bullet Matte Lipstick from Huda Beauty. Seriously, so many people said that they love this formula and they had so many different shade recommendations. So definitely check out the whole shade range because there's a lot of people who loved all different colors, um, but this one, Sidra specifically said that it's the absolute best fall nude color. So that's what kind of made me want to try this one specifically. It looks really beautiful. It looks like it has a nice pinky mauve undertone, so let's go ahead and apply this. Now this one is definitely a much more matte finish and formula compared to the Urban Decay. The Urban Decay one was a little more hydrating. Okay, so I feel like honestly looking in the mirror and then looking in the viewfinder, it's reading a little more pink underneath the lights where in person, and I'm sure out of these bright lights, it's gonna read a little more mauve. It looks very pink in the monitor, but very mauve in my mirror. I really like this formula. It feels actually very comfortable. Again, it is more matte than the first one we tried, but still really comfortable. And I think that this would be great for somebody who maybe doesn't really wear lipstick ever during the year. And then in the fall, maybe you wanna branch out and try a couple of colors, but you're not really too used to seeing yourself in lipstick. A color like this would be perfect to kind of dip your toes in the water as far as a good fall nude. I really do think this would be a perfect nude for fall and all year round actually. But again, yeah, I feel like it's reading brighter in the monitor versus in person. It's a little more muted and kind of fall in my actual mirror. I really, really like that one. Let's try the next lipstick. So I have two Maybelline bullet lipsticks that I wanted to try out based off of your recommendations. So we have the matte lipstick right here in the shade Touch of Spice which Brittany, Valentina, Maya, and Taylor recommended. Then we also have this one right here called Spice For Me, which Emma and Marie recommended, which I thought was so pretty. So I really wanted to try it, both of these Maybelline shades. So we're gonna start off with Touch of Spice, which is a really nice rosy tone. So it seems like a lot of you guys reach for these kind of rosy tones in fall. I'm gonna go ahead and apply this to the lips, but they're like deeper rosy tones. My lip lines are already getting sloppy, you guys, but hopefully you get the idea with this color. Okay, so again, this is Maybelline Touch of Spice. It's a really beautiful mauve rose color. Again, it's kind of coming off a little more 
bright in the monitor than it is in person. Not too much, but it's still such a pretty color. So it seems like, again, a lot of you guys are reaching for just slightly deeper tones maybe in your collection versus what you might reach for in spring and summer. For some of you, I feel like a lip color like this might be something bold for you, which I think is really nice. Or it might be something that's just a little bit amped up for every day if you're used to wearing lipstick on an everyday basis. I think it's really nice though, and I think it would go well with any type of sweater. For some reason, I'm picturing like an emerald green or like a dark green or dark blue sweater with this lip color, I think that would be so beautiful. So I really like that one. And that one does have a little bit more of a matte formula to it. All right, next up, we're gonna try out Spice For Me, which is this one right here. It's definitely a little bit more of that spicy terracotta color. Now this was in the range of lipsticks from Maybelline where they created a bunch of different lipsticks that work across all different skin tones. I've tried quite a few from the range, but not this one. So I wanted to give this one a go. So this is one that I would personally apply with a lip liner just to make sure that the lines are nice and precise. That is such a pretty color. It definitely screams fall. It has that nice burnt orange undertone, but it's still really wearable. It's not a complete orange. It's a nice like rusty burnt orange color. And I really, really like it. It's a very comfortable formula. I'm used to this formula and I really like it. Maybelline makes some of the best lipsticks in my opinion, especially from the drugstore. And this one is no exception. I really like this color as well. So again, that was Spice For Me by Maybelline. This video is so fun. I love lipsticks and I love fall lipsticks. So being able to try out like your fall lipstick recommendations is like a dream come true. All right, we're gonna move on to MAC lipsticks. So, so many people said all sorts of different MAC shades, but I picked up two that were the most suggested or the most loved for fall. Kelly Sharman, Sophia, and Jocelyn all said that MAC Diva is their go-to in fall. And then Chantel, Karen, Ashley, and Nikki said that this is a classic like oldie but a goodie, um, and it's Velvet Teddy from MAC. So I actually haven't tried either of these before. I've heard about Velvet Teddy. I actually have never heard of Diva before, but yeah, I wanted to try both. So here is Velvet Teddy. This is well loved by you guys. I'm gonna go ahead and apply this. Okay, why have I never tried this lip color? It's such a beautiful, almost peachy nude. This one is definitely more on the fresh side if you wanna wear something that's just gonna give your lips a little bit of color, but it's not too intense, it's not overpowering. Again, it's just nice and fresh. I feel like a lip color like this would pair nicely with a more intense eye as well. So pretty, and of course, MAC makes a really good formula when it comes to lipstick, so I'm really loving that. I can't believe I've never tried this before. I've heard such good things about Velvet Teddy for years, but I never got the chance to try it out. So I'm really happy that I have it in my collection. So again, this is MAC Velvet Teddy. Such a pretty, like yummy, perfect undertone of a nude. It's not leaning too pink or orange or purple. It's like right in the middle and I really love it. All right, let's try on Diva, which is a little bit more of a deep, bold shade. This one's pretty. I'm really excited to try this out. So many people said that this was their go-to. It's so pretty and such a nice deep berry shade. I love when people wear berry lipsticks. I feel like so many people can pull it off. It's actually a color that's kind of intimidating, but, or it can be intimidating, but I feel like it's honestly one of the most flattering fall colors for like everybody. Let's go ahead and see what this looks like on me. Okay, this is definitely one that I would use a lip liner for as well, but I'm just not gonna spend too much time on trying to perfect the lines. Hopefully we can get a decent idea of what it looks like. That one looks pretty messy because I did not use a lip liner normally, I would, but such a beautiful color. Oh, it's just such a pretty like berry burgundy color. It's so good for fall. I think it looks really nice with like my cream sweater too. That one is really, really nice and really pretty. I'm really excited about it. Obviously, I would definitely wear a lip liner with that to make sure the lines are nice and precise. I think that's one of the key things when it comes to wearing a bold lipstick is to make sure you have nice clean lines. So something I would definitely do if I was actually wearing it for the day, but I really love that shade. Okay, another brand of lipsticks that I feel like gets recommended every time I ask for lipstick recommendations are Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks. Obviously, she makes some of the best lipsticks, I feel. The shades are always amazing. But there were two specifically that got mentioned quite a few times. We have Demetra, Hiki, Emily, Caitlin, and Michelle that all said the Charlotte Tilbury Hot Lips in Glowing Gen was their go-to for fall. Then we have Lee, Maria, Melissa, Ellen, and Darcy who all said they love the shade Very Victoria for fall. So both of these are also more nudie colors, like they're not too vampy. We're gonna try out Glowing Gen first. I love 
the packaging on this. Look at that gorgeous print. I think just this alone screams fall to me. Like I would love to have this in my purse at all times just for the packaging, but the color looks nice and rosy, but it's a little bit deeper. Let's see what this looks like on. This color is actually pretty unique. So it has that rosy feel to it, but there's a little bit of a peach or an orange to it. It's kind of a half and half. It's like the perfect pinky peach color. And I really do like how this one does look like more of a statement. Like it's a little bit more bold, at least on my skin tone. That's something that, you know, everybody should keep in mind, by the way, as I'm trying this out, depending on your skin tone and undertone, lipsticks can look very different on everybody. So just wanted to throw that out there. But on me, it looks a little bit deeper. Like I feel like it looks a little bit more bold, but I wouldn't be scared to wear it on an everyday basis. I think it's a really nice color. And again, the packaging, oh, it's just so good. I really, really like the packaging on this and that color is really nice. A lot of these more nude colors for fall, I feel like would work great for all year round, which is so nice because sometimes, I mean, I know for me, I always end up buying or having specific lipsticks for fall, but it's nice to have lipsticks that work really well for a few seasons, if that makes sense. And I feel like this would be a color that would do that. Especially if you're gonna spend money on a Charlotte Tilbury lipstick, you probably wanna make sure it's a color that you're gonna wear more than just a couple months out of the year. All right, next up, we're gonna try out the shade Very Victoria. This is a different formula. It's the Matte Revolution formula. This one's really pretty. So this one looks a little bit more mauve. It's got that brown undertone as well. I'm gonna go ahead and try this on. Okay, so honestly, I thought this was gonna come off a little bit more bold based off of the tube, but the formula itself is actually a little more sheer, which I feel like is actually very flattering. That is such a pretty color though. It's definitely not too light of a nude. It's almost like my lips, but better. And it's not to pink either. There is that mauvey brown undertone. So it almost has that muted feel to it, like a lot of lipsticks that we all love to wear in the fall, but it's still so wearable. That is a really, really nice color. I'm actually very excited about this color. It literally almost matches the inside of my lip. See? <laughs> Which is always good for an everyday lipstick, especially, because it's gonna wear off really nicely if you find a lip color that matches the tones in your natural lip. And this one does that for me. This is a really beautiful color. It's not too much. It's just enough of a hint of fall, but it's not overpowering at all. I think that's really pretty. All right, next up, I actually have two matte lip creams or they're called Lip Souffle Matte Lip Creams from Rare Beauty. So there were six people that said they loved the Rare Beauty um, Lip Souffle Matte Lip Creams. Three people said the shade Fearless and three people said the shade Brave. So I'm gonna try both of them. So the people who recommended the color Brave were Claire McKenzie and Huma. So that's this color right here. I'm gonna go ahead and open this up. Now, okay, side note, you guys. I know so many of you guys have asked me to do a Rare Beauty review. It's coming, I think. So listen, when it first launched, everybody received PR and I feel like everyone got their videos up. I purchased some of the things I was interested in and they came and then my initial plan was to try them off camera and then like give you guys a full opinion after using them for a while. But I still feel like I haven't had enough time with some of the products. So that's why it's taking me so long, but it will come, okay? So in the meantime, we're gonna try some other shades in the Lip Souffles. I did buy a couple of these, but not these two colors. So let's try out the shade Brave first. This is more of that orangey color, which also seems to be a popular type of shade for you guys in fall. I'm gonna go ahead and apply this all over. This formula is really nice. The shades that I bought were super bright, so I'm interested to see how I like these slightly softer tones. Okay, that one's really fun and really nice. I definitely feel like it gives off pumpkin spice vibes, but in a very subtle way. And I built it up quite a bit. So if you didn't even wanna have it this intense, you wouldn't have to. You can just kind of soften it a little bit. That's the shade Brave. It's really, really nice. And the nice thing about these lipsticks too is they do leave a stain behind on the lips. So once it wears down, you still get a hint of that color, but you don't have to worry about it cracking off or anything like that. So that's the shade Brave. Let's try on the other one. And again, the second shade is called fearless this one is more of a mob it looks like at least this is really pretty i think this definitely has fall vibes to it in my opinion let's go ahead and try this one out okay i layered this one up a few times too just to get the best color i really like this one for fall in my monitor it's reading a little bit brighter again hopefully it's true to color on camera sometimes like what the camera actually picks up is a little different than what my monitor shows me but this one is really nice it's that perfect kind of mauve brown it's almost like it has a little bit of like a burgundy feel 
but in a very light way. <laughs> I don't know if I'm very good at describing colors, but this one is a really nice fall shade. Again, I built it up quite a bit, so if you didn't want it this intense, you could just do a little bit and kind of blend it out with your finger for more of like a tint. I really like this one though. This is one of my favorites that I've tried so far. We still have more to try, so I'm gonna go ahead and move on to the next. All right, the last four are all liquid lipsticks, so these ones might be a little harder to, you know, switch around. I was actually really excited to see that three people mentioned this right here. So Ashley, Karina, and Kristen all said that the Too Faced Melted Matte Pumpkin Spice Lipstick was their go-to for fall. I think this is limited edition for this year and I got it in PR and I haven't tried it yet so I was excited that people were really excited about this color so that I could um, try it out in this video. Let's go ahead and apply it. You guys, it literally it smells like pumpkin spice. Now these dry down pretty fast. So I'm doing my best with lip lines, but that's as good as it's gonna get. It's definitely not perfect. This is such a fun color though. This is really fun because I almost feel like it's bright, like it's a very vibrant fall lipstick. So if you're not one that wants to um, go like the 90s grunge route, like you wanna wear a bold lipstick, but you want it to kind of give life to your look and to your complexion, this is a really, really, really beautiful shade. These melted um, matte formulas also wear all day long, which is really nice. I'm very familiar with this formula. This is a really fun one. What do you guys think about this? It kind of has a little bit of like a coral feel to it, but it's not summery in any way. It's definitely fall. I think this color is really unique. I don't think I own anything quite like this one. So again, this is Pumpkin Spice by Too Faced. Plus look at the pumpkin pie on the cap. It's really cute and very perfect for fall. I really, really like this one. Now the challenge is gonna be to get this off. Okay, so another Maybelline lipstick that got a lot of submissions, and this one was recommended by Linny Lee, Danielle, and Karen. Um, well, first of all, this formula in general was probably one of the top submitted formulas, but three people suggested the shade Globetrotter. So it's the Maybelline Super Matte Ink, if it will focus. Here we go. The Maybelline Super Matte Ink Lipstick in the shade Globetrotter. It's the number 135. Again, so many people requested this formula. I know it's one of your guys' favorites. These last so long on the lips. So let's go ahead and try this shade Globetrotter. Ooh, that one's pretty. Again, my lip lines are not gonna be perfect, but you get the idea. This one is like a true burnt orange. Ooh, I really like this one. I feel like the um, Too Faced one was a little more on the pink side. This one definitely leans more red orange, like a very true red orange with a warm undertone. This is really nice for fall. I really, really like this. Sorry about my lip lines, but this one is definitely one that I feel like screams fall, where again, some of those other shades, I feel like you could get away with all year round. Not that you couldn't with this one, but this one is just like fall vibes all around. I really like that one. All right, so we have just two left. I wanted to save the best for last. I just say that because 10 people suggested this specific formula and shade. Before we get to that one though, there is another shade in the same form that four people suggested. Tori, Kyla, Alicia, and Chelsea all suggested the Ofra Cosmetics Long Lasting Liquid Lipstick in the shade Verona. This is such a beautiful kind of muted brown. So I'm gonna try this one on first. So many people suggested Ofra Cosmetics lipsticks, but this was the second top shade that was suggested. That one is so beautiful. It's definitely more of that grungy 90s brown, which is what I'm personally into right now. Oh, this edge here. Okay, that's as good as it's gonna get, but I really, really like this one. So again, this is called Verona. Still a wearable everyday nude, but it's just brown enough and grungy enough and muted enough to definitely be perfect for fall. This is another one of those shades that I personally would wear probably on an everyday basis in the fall. I need to reach for this more often. I actually already owned this one and it's been a long time since I've worn it. So thank you guys for you know reminding me about this shade. It is so beautiful. All right, the last and final lipstick that had 10 people suggesting this, McCready, Tori, Tala, Sonia, Chelsea, Emily, Srimoyi, Lucero, Sam, and Mariana all said that they love the Ofra Long Lasting Liquid Lipstick in the shade Miami Fever. This is the collaboration with Kathleen Lights, and it's just a really nice orange color. So I'm gonna remove Verona off the lips, and we will end with the Miami Fever. This one is super pretty. I'm gonna try to spend a little more time on the lip lines with this. 
This one is such a beautiful shade. It definitely screams fall. It's that perfect in between as far as not being too grungy and muted and not being too bright either. It's like right in the middle and I think it's so flattering and clearly so many of you guys really enjoy this color as well. It looks so nice on the lips. Since this is the last color I'm gonna wear, I'm gonna actually add a little bit more blush. I feel like this color could use a little more blush on the cheeks. I'm just taking this peach shade from Patrick Ta. It's called She's Sincere. And I'm just gonna add that onto the apples of the cheeks. I feel like that's a really nice combo actually, that blush with that lip color. All right, you guys, so this was the last lipstick that I had to try out. Well, actually, I'm gonna tell you a little sad story. So I had another lipstick that was sent to me by Fenty. I must have put them somewhere and it was recommended to me. It was this deep burgundy, beautiful shade called Underdog. I couldn't find it anywhere. So that was supposed to be in this video. If I find it, I will do a tutorial using it. It's gonna drive me crazy. It's gonna haunt me forever that I can't find that. You know when like you see something something everywhere until you need it and then all of a sudden it's gone. That's what happened with that lipstick. But anyway, besides that, that was all the lipsticks that I was going to try out today and I had so much fun trying them out. It was really cool to see similarities in some of the tones and undertones in these lipsticks. It seemed like so many people reach for a little bit more of like a deep peachy rose color with some of the nudes and then also like terracotta colors seem to be very popular as well. So it was honestly really fascinating for me to see all the different similarities in these lipsticks. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video as much as I enjoyed filming it. You guys know how much I love lipsticks and it was so much fun for me to be able to try out your favorites and hopefully, you know, it made you guys excited about some of these shades or Maybe it will inspire you guys to reach into your lipstick collection and see if you have anything similar to wear for fall. But that was such a fun video for me to film. Let me know which shade was your favorite out of the ones that I tried today in the comments down below. And if there was a lipstick that was not talked about that you absolutely love for fall that you think I need to know about, leave that in the comments as well. I would love to hear from you guys. If you're new here, hi, my name is Allie and I would love for you to join the family. You can do so by hitting the subscribe button. And if you're already a subscriber but you wanna be notified on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Click on the bell after you subscribe and you'll get a notification every single time I post. That's it for me today. Again, if you guys want to see all the lipsticks I talked about, I'll have them organized and listed and linked in the description box down below, so be sure to check that out. And yeah, I hope you guys have an amazing day wherever you are, and I will see you in my next video. Love you. Bye!